By now, you probably know that Donald Trump has won the Republican South Carolina primary. That's old news. But what you may not know is that lurking inside of that victory, some pretty bad news for Donald Trump. It could be that in the end, he wins the battle but loses the war. And so he doesn't seem to see this lurking on the horizon because he's too busy gloating over the fact that he won South Carolina. But we're gonna break down the bad news for Donald Trump. But first, we do have to acknowledge that he won. He bleated, such an incredible honor to win the great state of South Carolina by so much. A record, thank you. It's a great state. I totally remember that it existed. And uh, he did win. Is it a record? I don't know. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm old. I don't, I'm not looking this up anymore. He won by 20 points. That's fine. It's fine. She was the governor of that state. Generally, you expect the governor of a state to win. But these are obviously special times with Donald Trump you know, being the head of this cult and everything. So he won by 20 points. And he thinks that this is a death blow against Haley. In fact, he thinks this is gonna lead to all of her donors fleeing. And there's some evidence of that. He bleated, Americans for no prosperity. You see what he did there? They're Americans for prosperity, but he made it no prosperity. <laughs> Very clever, that's what comedy is. Have Good just job, stated. Baby. <laughs> that Haley has no chance to win and they will stop funding your campaign effective immediately. What a waste of money. I mean, they're not totally, she's not totally, they're not totally wrong. Uh, I mean, it kind of is a waste of money. I mean, he could go to jail, but that's about it. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. Now, she's not leaving. She's announced that she's staying in for what that's worth. And it's not really worth anything. Politicians say that and then later that day they drop out. But she says she's sticking around. But I want to get to the bad news and then we'll discuss. So he won, okay, fine, set that aside. Here is what the, the map actually looked like. So he won by 20 points, that's good. But you know what that also means? It means that nearly 40%, just shy of 40% of the Republican electorate, months and months into this thing, when it already looks like a guarantee that he's going to win, still worked up the energy to go out and vote against him. Mm -hmm. They know that she's not going to win. She's not even gonna win South Carolina. And they still thought, no, I'm going to take my limited free time and I'm gonna go all the way out here just to try to stop Donald Trump because I don't want him. And that isn't just a high number, it's actually a pattern. So as Ian Sams involved the White House pointed out, across Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina, Trump lost an average of 44% of Republicans. And that's not what you want, but it actually gets worse. So CNN did a poll in South Carolina of Republican voters. And they asked, are you part of the MAGA movement? 45% said yes, 49% said no. Mm. More said no than said yes. Now, I guess the joke is on Nikki Haley. He still won South Carolina, but like, it's easy to just be like, are you MAGA? Sure, make America great again, but more like no. and. Even worse than that, I saved the best for last. A Fox News analysis showed that 35% of voters said they would be dissatisfied with Trump as the nominee. These are Republicans. 21% said they wouldn't vote for him in the general election. One out of five Republicans are like, not only do I not like the guy, not only am I not MAGA, I am not voting for him in November. And they already know this guy, he's a known quantity. So he won South Carolina, but he would very much like one fifth of the Republican electorate to turn out. And thus far, it's not looking great. And that's before the January 6th verdict and the hush money verdict and the confidential documents verdict and maybe Georgia too. That number could go even higher. Now, what oh, do you yeah. Think? No, I think this is. And I'm so glad that it's being covered, but this is truly the story. Um, we're constantly fed by the media, Oh, it's Trump's GOP, it's Trump's GOP, look, he's running away with it. And we're not fed this other side, which are the people who are disaffected, maybe former Trump voters who are, yeah, like you're saying, coming out and voting against him. 59% is good in a general, right? But in a primary with only one other person in these, I guess almost 3000 people were like, let's give it to DeSantis even though he's out of the race. <laughs> like <laughs> it, in the reddest state or one of the reddest states in the country, that doesn't look good. How's Wisconsin mm -hmm. gonna look? How's Michigan, Michigan gonna look for Donald Trump? Like, and it, you know, there was a tweet there that you put up and, and the, the latter half of it was about if the numbers were similar for Biden, 
it would be like, oh, we need to reverse course oh, immediately. Yeah. But Biden, of course, he's an incumbent. He's the current president, and of course, he's winning. You know, by ninety percent or whatnot. Um, Granted, there's no one actually, very few other names who are um, serious contenders who are actually being allowed on the ballot. Oh, but, but this, this is, is something we have to remember. And this and could be the difference between him losing in November. And you're totally right. It's only gonna get worse, John. That's mm -hmm. that 40% that didn't come out, like after all these cases, or at least some of them like keep on moving as like sort of boats along some sort of evil carnival ride or a great <laughs> carnival ride, car carnival game, like. yeah. At, at best, they'll stay home. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? At worst, yeah. they'll vote for Biden or Some might. a Nikki Haley uh, independent run. Maybe, and uh, No Labels is apparently reaching out to her. They lost Joe Manchin, you know, and their hearts were broken, but they've bounced back. Uh, you're right, it would be slightly different with the if it was Biden, because Biden is the sitting president. But it wouldn't be as different as usually that metaphor would work, because Trump was the president. They know him. And by the way, it is so easy if you're on the side of a candidate like Trump to like a candidate like Trump. He comes out and he just tells you, you're automatically better than everyone because of the way you were born. For your gender, for your race, for your class, whatever. You're just, you're great. You don't have to do anything. In fact, you just get to go around hating people and I'm gonna lift all of you up. I mean, not really economically, it's all gonna be for me and my rich buddies, but the fact that 40% don't support him in South Carolina after all this, I actually take some like hope out of that. Because it would be so easy for these Republicans to be like, yeah, I should be better because I'm white. But they're not, they don't like him. And that's good. I mean, they still like Nikki Haley and she sucks too. But but hey, we'll, you know, we'll take what we can get. And so we're gonna be tracking Michigan and see what happens on Super Tuesday. But it's easy to write a headline that, so and so won the primary, but if that's not necessarily the most important news coming out of it. And so that's what we no. want to focus on.